Where's that treasure? Arg, what's up, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. I've got some shots to take. It is Saturday. I hope you're all having a great weekend. I know I am for sure. I started off with a great day yesterday golfing with my foul. My foul. <laughs> my pal Fish. I did lose that battle. Uh, you can watch the video. Watch the 18th hole. I'll put it at the end screen here, but cheers to fish. Mm. He did give me a consolation prize. I lost an ounce of silver and had to buy lunch, but I did get this sweet copper fish in return. So thank you to my pal, Bionic Fishy Fish, for that. Uh, Today, we are talking... Here I am slamming the fish on there. Today, we're talking about bars. And everybody loves a huge 10-ounce bar. They're killer. They look great. They feel great. They're hefty in the hand. And I love that just like everybody else. What I'm on the fence about are the 1-ounce bars. They seem to not be as popular, and, like, I get it. They kind of are awkward to stack. You know, I guess if you're buying them in bulk, you can put them into the containers, but who's buying bars in bulk? I don't know. Uh, I recently decided to start stacking bars, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. But first, let me give a shout-out to... My pal, Patriotic Stacker. Uh, last week, he did a auction from his local coin store, auctioning off that dude's merchandise. Brilliant idea. Tons of stuff. Loads of great deals. And that stuff shipped out fast. Well, I'd already made up my mind that I was going to go ahead and start stacking one-ounce bars. Incredibly enough, and I'm not surprised, the one ounce bars at the auction always seem to be one of the lowest bid on. And and I think it's just not so widely stacked. And I don't know if it's because it's inconvenient to stack, if it's because the rounds are just cooler. I don't know. But I did pick up some awesome pieces in that auction and at a great price. And I'm stoked about it. Uh, this one especially. This is the uh, Space Shuttle Columbia Mission 3. Now, it wasn't Mission 3, but Space, Space Shuttle Columbia was the one. Uh, I want to say I was in the third or fourth grade. We were watching the launch in our school, and it had, I think her name was Terry McCullough, the school teacher, going to space, and that thing blew up on the TV right in front of our faces. Uh, I'll never forget it. That is one of those things. <laughs> Utter confusion as a child. Uh, pretty gnarly. Uh, I've always enjoyed the space program. I think it's cool. This came up and it was a piece I wanted to have just because it was the Space Shuttle Columbia and it instantly uh, reminded me of that memory. And so I scored that. I did grab this sweet LA Open golf guy because me and my pal Fish were about to go golfing. And uh, I actually really like it. And I don't know if any, I don't think anyone bid on it. I think I was a lone bidder. Great pricing though all around. And then this cool 2013 year of the snake. And uh, you know, again, there is a lot of cool bars around. I just don't see many people stacking them. Let me give this guy a shout out. This is Patriotics shop dude, Henry Gittner, whatever that is. Uh, they sent this out quickly. He even sent me some old I guess collectible stamps too. So super cool. So what changed my mind? What brought me over to the bar side? Uh, I started looking. I was like, how on earth do I stack these bars? And I will tell you, it was the St. Michael's that I had just picked up. And I was like, this is awesome. What do I do with it? Right? Uh, Guardhouse, the number one name in whatever... 
they make a box for bars. It is for 25 one ounce bars in the airtight. So check it out. Yes. Pull it away. Holds 25 one ounce bars. It's got a nice kind of felt down in there. And uh, I just saw that and I was like, how rad is that going to be when it's totally full of bars? Like, spectacular, right? And to be honest, it got me excited to pick up some bars. Now, I didn't have a bunch of bars. I got this one because Triple P had just hooked me up with it. And then I got my five St. Michaels. Now, I do got to tell you, they go in here and they are snug. Snug of bugs, right? So I do got these five St. Michael Scottsdales. Very cool. And and I actually, to be honest, I like that they're snug. Uh, that They fit in good. They're spaced properly. I dig it, right? So we put those in, and uh, I just think it's a great way to store them. And so now that I've got some more pieces to store, I'm just going to slide them in. Slide them in. Give them a home. And, uh, and it's kind of exciting now to fill up this box with some randomness. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to pick up and collect some stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But anytime I have something to fill up, I get way more excited about things. I don't know if you guys are the same way or not. And once you have them in, it kind of bows a little. You just got to give it a little squeeze. And it gets everything down nice and flush, right? And it looks good. It looks good. I, man. So I'm, I'm pumped about it. I'm actually really psyched to get some more one ounce bars and fill up this guardhouse box. And again, it's like kind of a hefty, hefty box. It's got kind of a smooth finish. It's got guardhouse written right on it. Uh, neat deal. Tell me what your thoughts are about that. I do have another thing that I need some help with. So I am not a fan of the assay, and I have this bar, this cool pamp tiger, and it's in this like assay card that's like plastic. It's like the size of a credit card. Look, you know me, I'm just a silly pirate. I don't know if this ups its value, if this does not up its value, but what I really want to do is just cut this sucker out and stick it in my box. What are your thoughts? Should I cut it out? Should I free it? Will that... I don't even know if that'll fit into that box. By the way, I got the box for 11 bucks just off of Amazon. And then I picked up two packs of the bars. And they were 10 bucks each for 10 bars of Airtights. And uh, Amazon as well. On Fire Guy, if you've ever heard of him. You've probably heard that name. Seems like he's the preeminent airtight dealer. In any case, what are your thoughts about bars? Do you like the box? Does stacking them in a box like this make it more appealing for you like it did me? Yeah, I like it. I dig it. I mean, to me, I look at that already and I'm like, badass, man. Very cool. So for me, it's a win. It makes me excited to stack some bars, pick some up. Get them at a cheap price. Keep it moving. Tell me your thoughts. And do we bust this guy out and stick him in the box? That's what I want to do. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, watch this video of us golfing the 18th hole, me and Fish. It's pretty entertaining. See you all next time. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>